Hi guys, welcome back to Avery's Apron. My name is Avery and we are back with another recipe. We are making these crispy pork lumpia today, okay? These are so addicting. They are salty and crunchy and just so, so good. Uh, my family absolutely loves these and I made them the other night for them so I figured I'd share the recipe with you guys, okay? We are gonna get right into it. Okay, so first off, we are gonna go ahead and saute up some onion. This is for the filling for our lupia, okay? So we're starting with this yellow onion. I've got two onions here, actually, that I diced up really nice and small. I'm just gonna sprinkle in a little bit of salt and cook these down till they are somewhat translucent, okay? Um, this skillet is over medium-high heat, and I drizzled in a little bit of oil, of course, and then I added my onions in. So we're just gonna stir these up and cook them till they are nice and soft. Also, just so you know, all of my exact ingredients and measurements can be found in the description box below. So definitely check that out when you are ready to make this recipe, okay? But now that my onions are looking really nice and soft, we're gonna go in with some seasoning. So I went in with some low sodium, low sodium soy sauce, okay? Also going in with a little bit of garlic powder and ground ginger. I'm also gonna go in with some ginger paste here eventually, okay? And a little bit of black pepper as well. We're gonna give this a good stir make sure everything is well combined and then we're gonna move on with our other ingredients I almost forgot I actually went in with some garlic paste as well okay I'm just gonna stir this in until it's well combined you can use minced garlic if you've got it you can use fresh garlic and chop it up yourself okay just use whatever you have on hand but I'm gonna give this a good stir and at this point we are gonna go ahead and turn our heat off and add in our other ingredients so I'm about to go in with some minced carrot and what I did was I bought um, the bag of shredded carrots and I just threw them in my food processor and chopped them up until they were nice and small like so okay um, I just prefer the smaller pieces of carrot in my lupia I don't really prefer to have the long shreds of carrot so I like to mince it up but you can definitely leave it in shreds if that's what you prefer it's totally up to you okay it doesn't really matter but yes I'm gonna give this a stir as well and I'm actually gonna leave this mixture to cool for about five ten minutes or so and then I'm gonna fold in my shredded Napa cabbage Okay, and at this point our mixture has cooled just a bit so I'm gonna go ahead and fold in my cabbage this is like I said one full head of Napa cabbage I just sliced it as thin as I could until I got these nice little ribbons of cabbage okay so we're just gonna fold this in uh, the reason why I waited on my onions to cool a little bit was because I didn't want the heat to wilt down the cabbage too much um, it doesn't take much to wilt cabbage especially this type of cabbage um, and I wanted to keep some of the integrity of it all right because once we uh, wrap it in the lupia wrappers and drop it in the oil these are really gonna soften up so I just wanted to be sure that they weren't too mushy by the time I added them in to my lupia okay but yes now that this is looking nice and mixed together we're gonna head on over to the counter and start mixing this into our ground pork Okay, so my veggie mixture is done and now I'm gonna go ahead and season up my ground pork before I add that in okay so it's basically all the same seasonings that I added to my onions earlier and I'm just giving that a stir okay like I said today I am using ground pork this is two pounds of ground pork you can definitely use ground chicken if that's what you prefer um, we've had it with ground chicken before and it is also very delicious okay but yes now that that seasoning is mixed in I'm going in with half the veggies at this point I'm gonna just let a little bit of soy sauce over that and I'm gonna give this a stir okay um, once that's well combined I'm gonna go in with the last half of my veggies 
Um, you are going to notice that I didn't really use a whole lot of salt in this recipe because I am using so much soy sauce, okay? Um, but it's totally up to you, the amount of salt that you choose to add to this. Um, yeah, it's up to you. Just season it, salt it to taste, okay? You guys, I wanted to add that this filling is so flavorful and delicious. It's like the perfect saltiness, so, so good. But the one thing I wish I would have added to this was some sliced green onion, okay, or like scallion. Um, if you like that oniony flavor, I just feel like it needed a stronger onion flavor. I don't know. But if you like the onion flavor, then I definitely recommend uh, just chopping up some green onion and adding that in at this point as well. Okay, time for the tedious part, and honestly, my least favorite part of this whole process, okay? I'm gonna wrap these up. So, I've got one egg and some water that I'm beating together. This is just gonna be what I use to seal my lupia shut. I've got my lupia back there in the back, my lupia wrapper, sorry, covered with a damp paper towel just to keep them um, soft because they kind of dry out a little bit if you leave them in open air. But I just take one sheet at a time, and I put a couple teaspoons of that filling kind of off-centered in the wrapper. I fold it over and I roll it a little bit, then I fold in the corners and I roll it a little more. And then I put a little egg wash at that last corner and seal it shut. And I'm just gonna keep doing this, okay, until I run out of wrappers or filling or both, okay? But here is the finished one, beautiful. I'm gonna set that to the side and keep going. And after about an hour and a half of wrapping, here we are, okay, about 70 lumpia later. Um, I make so many because I like to just kind of pop them in the freezer and cook them as we want them, okay? So I'm going to put some in the freezer today and I'm going to cook some. But here, I've got these larger lumpia and then I've got these smaller lumpia. The larger ones are actually a full sheet of lumpia wrapper. I actually started to run out of wrappers, so what I did was I cut the lumpia wrappers in half diagonally and I filled them that way so those smaller ones are the ones that are just half a sheet of lumpia and the larger ones are a full sheet but anyways you can do that I mentioned that because you can cut your wrappers in half if you'd like um, it'll definitely make them thinner and crispier they're gonna be crispy regardless because lumpia wrappers are so thin but yes whatever you prefer it'll really make it stretch if you cut the wrappers in half but here is my first batch you guys I just put a couple in the basket at a time I use my little deep fryer for this today and there they are golden brown crispy delicious I fried these maybe about five to seven minutes each remember our meat is raw so we want to make sure that it's cooked all the way through okay but that is it for today's recipe you guys I'm going to show you um, the end result how crispy and delicious they are and then my dad and brother are gonna come through and let you know how they like them thank you so much for watching today you guys if you've enjoyed this recipe give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new and i will talk to you all in the next one bye done now this is like the second but <laughs> I forgot how is it it is good <laughs> anything else <laughs> I need a couple more okay <laughs> thanks for trying it okay Quinn is trying it now go ahead Quinn oh here it's crispy it's crispy from over here huh that's it. crispy mm. I like it but <laughs> I think do you I want think, salt? No, it makes a difference. When you dip it in the sauce. When you dip it in here. Oh. He's using the, ooh, the camera, the sweet and sour sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotta have a dipping sauce. Do you like the duck sauce? Yeah, I do. Okay, yeah, that one's over there too. Did you see it in the bowl? The yellow sauce? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't do the dipping sauce. What do you think? I like the first one better. Okay, sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. Alright, thanks for trying it. Out of 10. Sorry, I almost forgot. I'll give it a 9. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you.